Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and I am here with my buddy Max. Some of you may know him from the first two episodes of the Daily Motor podcast, but a good buddy of mine, and the owner of this 2022 Ram TRX. Is it Ram 1500 TRX? Is that the official model I guess, model I call name? it Ram TRX, but yeah, <laughs> in the official name. Everyone knows what you're talking about if you say <laughs> TRX, because this is still one of the king high performance off-roaders on the street here in 2023. Now, how long have you owned this truck? Uh, just about over a year now, about a year and a month. Okay, uh, and you still love it, right? Yes, just <laughs> as much. This was kind of a dream vehicle for you because you've always been a Mopar fan. You've kind of thought, well, maybe someday Viper or something like this, but this kind of spans still hope for that. everything in terms of being a high performance vehicle and allowing you to do just about anything you'd want on or off-road. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of why I got it is it just, you know, checks off all the boxes in terms of having, still having fun. I mean, you can hang out with a Scat Pack or a Camaro SS, <laughs> you know, light to light and mm -hmm. then enjoy all the other off-road things that it has to offer. We've been to the dunes before. Um, I, I watched Charlie and uh, Chris's videos of the Silver Lake <laughs> dunes for a really so long time long. before mine came. Yeah. And it was mm -hmm. a blast. It's, it's been fun. We do a lot of exploring with it and the only thing I'd say is crappy is the fuel economy, which is part of the part you of the deal. You gotta pay to play. So, absolutely. Well, not only that, but after a year of ownership, you've decided it's time to liven this thing up a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, the stock exhaust isn't awful um, by any means. It has a good, you know, throaty sound to it. <laughs> After owning it for a year or so, um, it, there are some things that I don't particularly like about it um, in terms of like, you know, it does drone um, kind of at lower and maybe just like commuting speeds, like around 55 and whatnot. Okay. Um, and apart from that, the, the normal Hellcat vehicles, like, you know, your Chargers and your Challengers, and even the Trackhawk, I'd argue, have a deeper, more sonorous tone. Mm. Um, the TRX kind of is a raspier, more truckish sounding exhaust, which isn't awful, but I think that it would be better if it was more like the other Hellcat engines and just had a little bit better quality of tone. Yeah, so essentially I'm just looking for a tone that is a little deeper, a little richer, and kind of amplifies the good qualities of the stock exhaust and maybe what I'm hoping uh, will also reduce some of the things I don't like about it, like the low end drone and the raspiness. I just think it'll be an over, essentially what I've heard it as is, you know, being what the truck should have been from the factory and that's kind of what i'm trying to get it to i don't want it to be insane you know loud super aggressive i right. just want it to be still a daily drivable nice quality exhaust that has a louder and more rich tone so i'm sure you did all sorts of research going into this i know you're a big fan of watching all the videos yeah, and, yeah. And, and learning about things and you, as the viewers will already know from the title and thumbnail of this video, have landed on AWE Tuning's exhaust for the TRX. Yeah. So let's hop in the truck, go for a little bit of drive, hear what it sounds like now, and then you can kind of tell us uh, why you wanted to go with AWE before we get on to uh, bolting this thing up. Sure, yeah, all right, let's do it. Go ahead and start it up. I'm sure that never gets old. No, it's. You know, in my small house, it's amplified, bounces <laughs> off the houses. <laughs> I still, I mean, TRX aside, as much as I love the TRX, I just still love the Ram interior. I know. They, they did it's such a good job really with this truck. Well. It I mean, really has, and it's so functional. Like all this space, the materials feel nice. I got in earlier and just commented yeah. on the Alcantara Center thing. It's just I a mean, nice place to be. I remember when the DT first kind of hit mm -hmm. the scene and we were just checking blown it out. away. Yeah. 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 Really impressive, and it's nice that they give you such a a nice interior to go along with such a cool driving experience. It doesn't feel like you're just driving something like an old, you know, performance hot hatch that you get the, the yeah. go, but not any of the show. Sure, sure. So with the AWE exhaust, are you expecting to hear it a little more in your daily driving or a little less when you're just kind of easy on the I'm, throttle? I'm expecting to hear it more when I'm on the throttle. Okay. Um, but I'm hoping that off throttle, it'll be similar or slightly better even. Um, there is some and I'll have to look at what it's actually called, but they have some flow through resonator technology that's okay. supposed to um, really assist with that when you're not, you know, going full bore, but it's supposed to also vice versa when you're on watt, just absolutely pass through and be as, as loud as possible. What I've found, the drone is a little bit more present when it's, uh, when the engine's colder, hmm. there's like some resonance, but, um, 
Here, I'll put it in cruise control once we get through the roundabout here. Okay. If it's partially on throttle is when it has that little bit of sound. If it can if it can kind of be just in the lower rev range, it's not as present. Okay. But ultimately, I think I'd just rather hear it be, you know, uh, a little bit more throaty if it's going to be present, you know, <laughs> than just kind of this little nagging in your ear. <laughs> We're actually going to be heading up to my mechanics place in Livonia, Michigan to throw this TRX on the lift and get this AWE tuning exhaust put on there. We'll kind of see how difficult or easy it is. Sure. And uh, get to some clips, and I'm excited to hear how this thing's going to go. I know you've been looking forward to this for a while. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited. Let's, let's get to it. Here we are up at My Mechanics Place in Livonia, Michigan. We got the TRX up on the lift. Looking beefy up there, of course, all that suspension travel. Say hi to Keone, Caps Garage. What's going on? And here we got the two AWE tuning boxes. The exhaust comes Change. just like this into, yeah, go for it. Rip, rip it open. Rip it open. Yeah, we've been looking forward to getting these open. We kind of got them right before Christmas time, so. They've been waiting for us under the tree. This is going to be the tips right here. Just the tips? Just the tips. Ooh, Ooh, look at that. Pull that, black. that looks nice. Now, they did have two different tip options. Max wanted to go with these black ones, and I agree. I think that was a good call. Now, they should be providing us every single sort of clamp. There's a really big instructional sheet that Max is already very intimate with on how all the different pieces should come. As he continues to pull that stuff out, go take a little look under the truck obviously the oe exhaust is coming in just one solid piece essentially Got all the way up here and then a lot of welds so we will be doing a good amount of cutting looks like we do have some that, well uh you know that's probably welded up there as well so we're going to be cutting in a few different sections and then the awe should pieced together in quite a few sections as well. You can see back here we got tips off already. There. Nice. Yeah, look at how nice and shiny. All the different pieces. It should really make it easy okay, to get so everything up together. You can see all the different pieces have... There's also a QR code too, which I believe will like take you to the exact spot. In the That's pretty nice. Yeah, and it's honestly. labeled for the diagram yeah, that you can pull up on the website. EO4, so it should make it pretty easy as we Exhaust get. Exhaust for dummies. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thick boys. 180 Technology by AWE. Dude, new metal car parts are so satisfying. Whether it's exhaust or like even just a new brake rotor, yeah. when you take it out, it's like, oh, it's yeah. so shiny. Even the pads. Like, yeah. <laughs> these pads. <laughs> What we're going to do is kind of piece out and lay down on the ground here where each section is going to go just to kind of make sure we have everything accounted for and then we'll start hacking everything off here. We forgot to mention yesterday this is the Zero FG exhaust, the Zero Fox Given exhaust from AWE, not for kids. And it looks like it's even serialized. Max says number 366. It's a nice little badging they weld on there. Stock exhaust is just about fully off. Honestly, the hardest parts so far have just been getting the rubber bushing or whatever you want to call it, the rubber attachments here off. It helps to have some sort of pry bar or crowbar. And then we found it's better to take the whole thing off, remove them like that, and then we'll reattach them onto the truck and then push them through. For those of you who aren't aware, there's these little kind of nipple holder extenders and they hold the exhaust on him from rattling around. Fortunately, after only 10,000 miles, even in Michigan, rust hasn't built up too bad. So we've been able to take these bolts off in the front with our hands, to impact them the rest of the way. We've got one more rubber yeah, holder up, up there, you can see. So yeah, we'll just do these clamps, pop this part out the front, 
and drop that this off the back and then we're ready to install. And then yeah. grandma's gonna hear us coming home for dinner. It is interesting that you do have to reuse the factory gaskets here, so keep that in mind as you're removing everything. Don't don't destroy these bad boys because they're known that in advance I'd have bought new gaskets. <laughs> but we're just gonna send it. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna get these back on there. Just keep that in mind. It it says right in the instructions. Working in the last bits. Now we did have some confusion right around here regarding the 180 mufflers, mid pipes exactly. Exactly how they're supposed to come in. Yeah, their orientation, if you will. The, in the photos, it definitely looks like that one was supposed to be straight up and down. But our problem is, is we are right here up against the frame. And I know it looks like if we were to just rotate this, it would be further from the frame. But due to the angle of this pipe, it, would, it moves everything to the right. So we've got it in there the best we can. It is hitting a little right now, but we're hoping once we get... The on. All the hangers on and everything. Oh yeah, are we supposed to be in a hanger up here? It is. It is? It's in there. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so once this hanger comes on, it's gonna pull that it's over. It's gonna pull it over, okay, yeah. So, I'm sure it'll be all right. yeah, that's fine. we have checked all our fitments, make sure you're always marking. There's measurements for this, well, these two pipes right here. Three hours, really not too bad. So I should say about three hours since the time the truck was up in the air and we are installed. Everything is torqued down, tightened up. It definitely required some playing around with fitments. They, they try to give you everything they're supposed to. Most of it's bottomed out, some of it's measured. We did end up rotating this kind of to the corner, to the side there, just to get the, the half inch of clearance from the frame that's needed, but everything should be pretty good. We are excited. Not that hard of a job, really. It was three of us, well, four of us technically, and doing it again could probably do it in two hours. Just a lot of double and triple checking. We think these tips look excellent. And we're gonna get all the old junk put away and get this started up. I know Max is really excited. And AWE tuning provides blow pops with their exhaust. So Max is going to Enjoy open up cherry flavor, it looks like. not waste too much of their heat. quiet from in here at idle like it's a you can hear it but it's uh yeah it's again like, the sound oscillation is just really good so we're gonna head out and just do a quick run up and down the street and then give max a few weeks with the exhaust and then do some proper filming with some good old flybys and starts and everything make it uh give some good ownership impressions and some behind the wheel impressions It's a nice balance now between the supercharger sound and the exhaust sound. Yeah, and it's still, like I said before, it's not like a Corsa Extreme or something where it's just over the top, just like freaking loud and raspy and yeah. it doesn't just dial up the aggressive level to 10, you know? No. It's still got some nice polish to it. That is a nice clean sound. Can't wait to hear it from outside. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and the truck is like still well insulated. Go in the next you know? one, like my car's over there. 
Yeah, no, it, it's still kind of blocked out, but um, I'm sure it's good and loud from the outside. <laughs> yeah, dude, when you were when Kino revved it a bit out there, that was something else. Yes. Cool. Well, that install was not too bad, no. all things considered. That was pretty easy considering yeah. the hangers were literally the, the biggest part. point of contention. And kind of just making sure everything lined up properly. Yeah, and that's the extra time you got to put into it if you want it to look decent. Yeah. You know, anybody could just ugga dugga <laughs> pipes onto something, but right. you know, you got to fit some futz with them a little. And when you consider that this car is so much larger than what, like putting it on a, a GTI or something yeah. like that, like doing all those different exhaust parts, they made it decently easy. Yeah, I mean, other than, uh, you know, like on a car, it's a little bit more straightforward. Usually the exhaust is just kind of like bent a little bit, but it's straight mm -hmm. out. You know, this, there's a lot more elevation almost yeah. to it with how much room there is underneath. So yeah. um, getting those resonators to fit in there perfectly, mm -hmm. um, That'll be you know. Interesting. But I don't I hear think, any sort of vibration or oh, rattle no. or anything. If I had to give anyone, you know, my two cents on doing this install it's just like follow the rules as a guideline and there are definitely steps that they say like you need to do this but for the like the resonators in our case at least it was just Wouldn't whatever right. yeah it was whatever made the most sense clearance wise you yeah. know and it all ended up working out in the end mm -hmm. so you know that that's kind of what you got to do I right guess. every truck's a little different all right well we're going to fast forward about two weeks here and max is going to uh, catch back up with us, give us some ownership impressions, and we'll mm -hmm. get the last drive in. We are back here following up after some ownership experience with the AWE Zero FG exhaust. And Max, how happy have you been with this thing? It's been great. Yeah. Uh, I will say, and I guess we'll just get this right out, um, the vehicle has been in the service department for a little bit of time. Sure, Tru <laughs> truck notwithstanding, yeah. it is a little bit longer uh, than we planned. We planned on only yeah. going a few weeks, but it's kind of been a few months because the truck's been a little out of commission yep. for some warranty work. But exhaust specifically, yeah. have you when, been happy with it? So the times that I have driven it before <laughs> and after, um, it's been honestly, it's kind of exceeded my expectations. Okay. The, the videos that I had watched, you know, uh, maybe ours will be better, but they don't always do a good job of capturing that sound. You sure. Know? And for me, the best thing about this is the sound on throttle is just like probably double in the at least effect of it you know mm -hmm. it's not like twice the the volume but it's like twice the quality okay it's got this nice like wrap to it it's not raspy it's very deep but on you know off throttle it is like quieter than the stock exhaust i'd almost make the claim we haven't cool. obviously measured anything, sure 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 yeah it's 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 quiet well enough telling them about it let's start this thing up and actually yeah. hear it we've already gotten the one cold start from the initial install but can never have too many and it's slightly warm, so. Yeah, sure. casually at first. It sounds more like one of the one of the cars, one of the yeah. six four yeah. uh, or six two cars. Which yeah. is kind of what we were going for. Yeah, it's got that nice like rhythmic wrap to it. Yeah. It's a little smoother. And I do hear little blurps of it wanting to like make pop pop <laughs> noises sometimes on D cell. It just doesn't quite make it. Yeah, I wonder if you got it really warm, like if it were hot outside and you maybe. were running it hard, it might get a little bit of that. Yeah, maybe this summer. <laughs> yeah, this thing gets up to speed so easy. Yeah, and everything's already pretty much up to operating temp, so Great. you don't need to no. feel shy or anything. Oh, I would. <laughs> I was on a on the on ramp earlier, and I just was like, I'm gonna save my shoulders. I'm like hitting it like I would, <laughs> any, you know, in any car, and I'm like, this is pointless. Why am I doing this? <laughs> well, hey, you paid for it. Yeah. Well, that's true.
gives it the the note that it deserves instead of the one that it was given. If that makes sense. <laughs> it's a sign. On, when you get off throttle, it's, it's totally gone. Yeah. Disappears. And I mean, at 55 or 60 on cruise control, it yeah. really settles down. We'll try that here in a moment. And I, then, too, like, sport makes it a little bit more aggressive with the throttle. Uh, oh. And, and the shifts. Sure. A little different. Um, we'll do that here in a moment. Here's For 54. When you're Here's 55 miles per hour right here, settling down. Have you noticed that the drone has gone away? Yeah, it, it's all but gone. And oh. even on the highway, I mean, it really, I, I, that's probably what I've experienced it the least with. Um, but I have not noticed it as much at all. And I think that anyone that were to get it would notice that right off the bat. It's pretty, it's pretty like quick to, to make itself known. Sport. One last little bit here, enjoying the TRX with Max and his lovely wife Marissa, creating some uh, some menace out here in the streets. It's what you got to do if you have a 6.2, you know. Lord knows there are plenty of other people around here who do it at all hours of the night. Yeah, people love the wine in our in our neck of the woods. Yeah, it's kind of hard to blame them sometimes. It sounds so good with the windows open. <laughs> I know. A testament to Ram's insulation. Seriously. Some like sports cars. You need some <laughs> sports tires and some racing brakes, and you just need to send this sport 4S SUV yeah. truck spec. <laughs> no, it's. I mean, it's true though because it gets up to speed so quick, and you want to hear a shift through first, and then you're yeah. in second, and then you want to hear the third, and then all of a sudden you're doing go, highway speed. Seven thousand pounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was just out driving the Hummer EV SUV a few weeks ago, and yeah, it's quick, but you get none of that that fun factor at yeah, all. I mean, the sounds are very different. I'd rather go a whole half or up to a second slower, zero to sixty, and get to hear a noise like that. These aren't coming through the speakers. No. You going deaf back there, Marissa? I'm not. It's, it's... <laughs> Nice little, uh, you know, evening, evening drive. Just before the rain. Yeah. Right. And then you put the windows up. And you hear it, but that, that, uh, bark is taken away. Yeah, that last, like, 15% edge. Yeah. But you know maybe everyone maybe else more, can hear you. Maybe 30%. It's a good amount. Yeah, sounds mean. It's uh, it's nice that it's kind of a no compromise sort of setup. Yeah, you know, it's not like yeah, it sounds great when you're on it, but it doesn't sound good when you're just driving or it's real droney or anything. Yeah, it, I mean, even in sport, like 
Yeah. I mean, that's nice and verbally. Like, I could easily let it settle down and, you know. Right. Just gone. Totally. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly, I mean, it, it's not even like, oh, we're, we're doing a product demo or anything like that. I, I, it, sounds, it seems like it's genuinely kind oh. of a no-brainer product. Yeah. 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 This should be a dealer installed option. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Cool, man. Any other thoughts you could have thought of? I mean, I people if they've watched this far, they they may have watched through our install and kind of struggling with the uh, the 180 um, resonate with those rev yeah, resonators or mufflers or whatever. Flow, the flow yeah, resonators you said stuff. the dealer ended up having to kind of tweak those, right? No, so all they had to do was uh, trim off the end of one of the hangers on the passenger side. Okay. Um, for whatever reason, it was a little bit close, and it might have been partially our our fault. Sure. Um, we did try and follow the you know instructions to a T mm -hmm. um, as much as possible. And to be honest with you, the clearance in the photos on AWE's website, like we're not that far off. Yeah. Um, some adjustments may need to be made with the passenger side resonator whatever you want to call that yeah um, but other than that I mean it's it's just and that's with any clamp style exhaust there's adjustments that need to be made and 90% of those sorts of issues are typically user induced <laughs> um, so you know it's something that I'm gonna continue to work on the fitment for but honestly for the you know like how good the sound is I, I don't mind you know having to do a little bit of extra work with it you know um, to have that better you know system and really that you don't see TRX as a whole lot in general so right. it's just cool to have an aftermarket exhaust on it that makes it that much you know better sounding so totally yeah I'm absolutely yeah. I wish it snapped and crackled a little bit more but sure you know you don't get the quality that you're getting <laughs> and also that stuff at the same time right. it's, the two just don't coexist so um you know it's not a, a negative at all i just i'm still kind of a racer at heart you know yeah. <laughs> awesome well i'm really glad we got the opportunity to do this and hear this thing i mean i was i was happy that we were able to help you out and get these installed and go through the process but it's even cooler getting to do it on something that's you know, sometimes we'll do like a tonneau cover or something like that. It's like, okay, yeah, it's cool, yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> but this, this is actually really genuinely cool to hear yeah. and drive. And, and uh, yeah, I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, thanks, dude. Uh, and thank you to AWE for supplying it. Absolutely. Without them, there right. would be no exhaust. Right. <laughs> yeah, you're rocking the AWE sticker. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right no, next no. To my Springfield Armory one. Definitely not hard to, uh, <laughs> to promote them after this. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to hit the link in the description if you wanna purchase and order the AWE Zero Fs given exhaust for your TRX as well. They do make a lot of other products, so be sure to check them out for a lot of other things. But I, I do not see why you wouldn't wanna put that exhaust on this truck because uh, it sounds pretty darn sweet. Thanks to Max for supplying his truck. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor and as always, drive on. Thank mm -hmm. you.